Now turning to the aftermath of our tornadoes, the very same storm system is now causing damage across the southeast and it's turning deadly there. ABC's Morgan Norwood now with the latest. This morning, the cross country storm slamming tens of millions of Americans turning deadly in Louisiana. A mother and her child did not survive after their home was reportedly blown apart by a tornado. It's really a, a true mess. The child's father was at work at the time. He had to show deputies where their home once stood. They're having to go through the trees that are down and power lines that are down and try to find the bulk of the house. New pictures show widespread damage in Farmerville, Louisiana. Police say about 25 people were injured, some critically, after a tornado leveled a neighborhood. In Texas, this twister striking near the Dallas-Fort Worth airport, forcing people in the terminal to take shelter. The lights went out, the wind gusts came like pretty strong and the, the rain, and then all I heard was a big boom. At least five people were injured when a tornado hit Grapevine, Texas. Meanwhile, from Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado to Minnesota, people are bracing for up to two feet of snow, coupled with winds up to 55 miles per hour. The blinding snow making driving impossible. Authorities closing parts of I-70 east of Denver and shutting down a 200-mile stretch of I-90 in South Dakota. That was Morgan Norwood from ABC News. You know, here in North Texas, the National Weather Service is back on the ground right now, spread out across North Texas, where they will almost certainly declare the damage you see here caused by a tornado. This is in Blue Ridge, northeast of McKinney and Collin County. The path of destruction extends several miles there to the high school and to the cemetery. So far, there are eight confirmed tornadoes this morning with more likely. We're going to stay on top of new information as the National Weather Service is out surveying today and bring you updates on air and online at WFAA.com. And make sure you have your WFAA app ready and have the alerts turned on to there to get the latest information.